I'm polymath musician and filmmaker Celestial Serpent and today I'd like to welcome you to my new series Sustainable Revolution. In this unique series we'll be exploring the innovative ideas and projects of visionaries and communities worldwide. From ashes we rise to the fire, return to boy out of our old systems burn and we can learn to be one, celebrate commonality, bridges built with strength and solidarity, we honor family, our ancestral tree, the roots that run deep and we the taps. Today we're in Snowdonia, Wales to visit the Astral Ship headquarters. Now we're going to go inside and learn a little bit more about the innovative projects going on over here. Welcome to Astral Ship. Um, here we are in the body of the ship and this is our kind of VR space where we hang out. Now it's, um, it's the off season, we're in the middle of, middle of a January and um, things are quite quiet here at the moment but in the summer it, it's really busy, there's like lots of people around. Um, and uh, basically what we do, Astral Ship, is have voyages which means groups of people come together and work on projects um, with a kind of ethos of addressing the grand challenges trying to save the planetary situation. That's our goal um, and then we have to be practical as to whatever we can do to, uh, to advance our project and um, as long as it's ethical we're, we're happy with, with any project that people can come and work on and one that we're working on at the moment is a language learning in virtual reality platform. So the idea is um, you go into virtual reality and you're in the world of Welsh folklore, the Mabinogion, and in that world you have experiences and it's all kind of immersive it's, and then you learn the Welsh language. So it's all, it's all in Welsh, there's no English in the game and you just go through the world having experiences and picking up bits of Welsh and then we want to extend to other languages later but we've got funding from the Welsh government to develop this. So team Teams of developers have been coming here. Everyone's kind of everything's provided on the ship, um, and everyone works together and gets really creative and does amazing high peak performance work. Um, so I can do a quick demo of, of what we've got. Wales has a really unique and special culture and language. Um, that goes back thousands of years. It's kind of the indigenous culture of Britain. Um, so the project is really going to be about celebrating and, and sharing that, that language and culture with the world. Wow, this is extraordinary. It was my first time experiencing virtual reality. Needless to say, I was impressed by the advancements in this technology. My controllers floating around. Liam showed me how virtual reality could sync up with Google Earth, allowing one to explore the world from the comfort of one's own home. We spent the next hour traversing the globe, visiting many of its man-made wonders. We were able to visit Yukai Australia, which was my home and the current headquarters of the Live On Love community organisation. Unfortunately, not every historical monument was rendered in a three-dimensional form. The Astral Ship Chapel was breathtakingly beautiful, built with only the finest craftsmanship and efforts of stone masonry. What an extraordinary world this is. I feel like I could live in here forever. The interior was still in construction as the organisation was still in the process of prototyping different design layouts. 
They were dedicated to preserving elements of the chapel's exquisite design while converting it into a more functional space. We did some recording for a Live On Love project intending to preserve and celebrate ancient culture through music. After we finished our recording, it was time to head up to an old slate quarry where we were going to shoot part of our music video. Almost every single roof in the area was made of slate panels. Using locally sourced material was just another example of sustainable living. We then drove to Carnarvon, where the other astral ship chapel was located. This project was called Ngeti 2.0. massive but it needed a lot of work done to it. They had plans to put in a stage, a cafe and an industrial kitchen among other things. However the most impressive part of the chapel was without a doubt its ecclesiastic hall. So the historical background to this place is um, kind of special. So this chapel was um, instrumental in the establishment of a Welsh-speaking colony in Patagonia. Um, so in Patagonia in Argentina in like the 1850s, a big ship sailed from Carnarvon with uh, lots of people from Carnarvon and they went off to establish a new, a new colony there. And that remains like the only other place in the world where people speak Welsh. So it's a kind of, it's a strong source of national pride in Wales. Because this chapel was instrumental in people going to a new world at a time when their lives here were very much under pressure. Um, that feels like a really strong metaphor for what we want to do, which is go to a new world, uh, but a new world that's right here, that doesn't involve sailing off to any faraway lands. And that's the new world of a kind of sustainable paradigm, really where the old ways of the kind of industrial exploitation that's been going on for the last couple of hundred years now need to change into a more sustainable way of life where people are more in touch with nature and live in a way that is more harmonious with, with nature. That, you know, life can be so rich when we have creativity and love and all this stuff. Um, do we really need all this plastic that is basically meaning that you know the, the, our outlook we've got like 10 20 30 years before things start to get really really bad on this planet um so i guess we are sort of tapping into some of the ancient welsh values of connection with nature that's have existed for thousands of years and that kind of bringing that back into let's create now with the latest technology a sustainable region in this part of wales where new technologies for sustainability can be 
can be prototyped and new ways of, of kind of keeping a community well-being can be can be trialled and, and developed here. At the moment we're painting it and uh, getting it ready for the artists. It's a part of the Astral Ship project and it's a, it's a starting point. It's going to be a nice little artistic hub for the artist and it's just going to grow from there basically. Uh, but it's, 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 it's a start, it's a start anyway. Got to start yeah. somewhere, right? Got to start somewhere. It's getting the momentum, getting the vibrations, pick up some vibes, get some good vibes here, get some creative people here, and uh, hopefully, when people get to know more about it, more people will be involved, and the place will be booming in the end. But we need the funding, so please, if anyone wants to come down, give us a hand, volunteer. You're more than welcome. If not, we're not going to beg you, but you're missing out on a great opportunity if you're not. So that's all I've got to say. <laughs>
So for me, this is kind of quite a special place. It's got a really ancient culture and um, some of the stories that, that we're dealing with in our, in our virtual reality game, for instance, the stories of King Arthur, they're some of the oldest stories in Britain. And so maybe there's that thread of story has kind of been part of shaping the culture of, of Britain, which obviously Britain has been a huge part of globalization and kind of creating the global world we have now. So maybe some elements from this culture are yet to kind of play a role in, in the future. That's how I like to think that maybe that the dragon is going to awaken and this is going to be a force for sustainability globally, that um, a bit of a sustainable revolution could be started here that would change the change the imbalance that current global culture has somehow by these indigenous roots coming through. Now my time in Wales is coming to a close, it's time for me to jump a train, but I've certainly been inspired and seen a broad spectrum of sustainable revolutions. So catch you next time. Chosen number one on charts I spit a hundred bars Sitting in the sun I charge Caressed by the crescent moon Laying on the stars All is energy, yes But only love will last When you step out of the loves When the trouble starts I often fall But I always get back up and laugh With the fluffy scarf And the funny mask I'm running fast While I try to skull a dozen cars I'm down in Aotearoa Chilling with the tiny fast Up with Saint Nick Tarius and Maki Ras A cold chilling But it's warm in my bubble Bye.